What is going on guys, Miles here and welcome back to another Infinite Warfare multiplayer gameplay where today I will be using the M1941 for the first ever time. Uh, I have used the M1 Grand a little bit but for some reason I just skipped this gun so let's use this thing on Arden's team deathmatch, let's do this. What is going on guys, Miles here and welcome back to some more Call of Duty World War 2 multiplayer beta gameplay where today I'm going to be playing on Gibraltar, if you missed my first gameplay, I'll leave a link to it in the description or at the end of the video, somewhere. But I'm using an assault rifle this time, rather than the grease gun. And, fun fact, I've actually never used this gun. Because when I do use assault rifles currently in the beta, it has just been the M1. So I've actually never used this. I'm not sure how good it is, but we're off to a decent start, so I'll take it. I'm happy. Where are they at? Where are they at? One behind you! I saved you! You owe me... Your life. There's someone behind me! Oh my god! I thought that was like my teammate dying or something, but... I just heard a guy screaming at me. That is one new feature about the game, which I might make a separate video on. You can hear the enemy's callouts. Which is really strange, that's usually not the case. Holy crap. Holy crap, reload, reload. No, we died, just got the UAV, but yeah, like I was saying, you can actually hear the enemy in this game. I believe you couldn't do that in any other COD, and that is actually huge, because that is why I just got the kill on that bayonet guy. It was only because I could hear him. So, I'm not sure if they'll change that before the full game, or if they'll keep it, but it is actually a pretty big feature. It's kind of like footsteps, but way more powerful. Hello, someone right here. Like, I heard him. I heard that guy. That enemy just say perfect shot. Oh my god. God damn it. And that helped me obviously kill him. So, it is a super powerful feature. Like, way more powerful than footsteps in my opinion. You just have to distinguish between your team and their team when they're making callouts. Which may be a little bit hard, but I think the accent helps out. Obviously, depending on the team you're on. There was a guy right here, where'd he go? Cheeky double kill, I like this... Oh, I thought I heard a bayonet guy behind me again. But I actually like this gun a lot. I like the M1 Grand as well, but I find it really hard to use. Don't know why, maybe I'm just not used to single shot guns. But this gun I can get behind, I like this a lot. Currently 10 and 3 right now. <clears throat> Make that 11. We don't have any attachments for this gun as well, and we're still doing decent. Hello? Anyone around here? Anyone lurking? I hear a guy. Thank headphones, man. Oh, we got another kill as well. Good stuff. Let's get this UAV inbound. It's spawning on the other side of the map. Alright, I really need to figure out the radar in this game. I'm not used to it. No, man! We were like one kill off our glide bomb, I think it is. Damn, we screwed up hard. Rip glide bomb. I choked. Feels bad, man. But I quite like the ruins area of the map. It's probably my favourite. Alright, we got destroyed. Alright then. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Let's actually go to this side of the map. See if there's anything over here. Not much action going on right now. It's pretty much in this main area and the ruins. Wait, where are they spawning? I think they're over here. Grenade. Right, this mid area is actually so hard to control. There are a lot of areas you can get shot from. That was close. Haven't actually changed up my score streaks yet. I probably should do that. They are not spawning behind. And I can't see any in the middle area. I'm really scared of this right side. Let's push up. Oh, I think now they're spawning on the other side. Rip. Goodbye. This gun is awesome. I actually love it. I'm going to use this a lot more. Where did that guy even come from? Did he spawn there or was he like camping? Come on, dude. What is that? What is that? I was alive for like five seconds. Bit dodgy spawns. 
Oh god, there's a guy there as well. Are we getting like spawn trapped right now? Alright, we're good. I'm gonna push up. I'm scared about that little river down there. Someone could be lurking. Let's go around this way. Teammate, rest in peace. Traded though, so it was worth. No, we didn't get that guy. God damn it. But we have got a solid lead on this game. This should be another win. Overall, I'd rate this gun probably like a 7 or an 8 out of 10. I actually really like it. Super easy to control recoil, high damage. And it's good close range as well as long range. So that is a big plus. Probably wouldn't use it on point to hop, but on Gibraltar and this map, I definitely would use it again. Nice, good stuff. Kingslayer. Can we get... I keep forgetting there's no final kill. I always like to try and go for it in the other CODs, but it doesn't exist in this game. Can we get the play of the game? Who knows? Let's check it out. 18 and 8 overall. I'll take it. Not my best gameplay ever, but it is the beta. And that is a nice play by this guy. Will he get the third? Looks like he will. And that, my friends, is why I want to unlock the STG and get a gameplay of it. But for now, we use the M1941, I think it was called. Overall, really like the gun, and you guys should definitely try it if you haven't already. And also, leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want to see more Call of Duty World War 2. And I'll see you guys in my next video.